Well, hello everybody. Thank you for joining me on my series of screencasts regarding Adobe Lightroom. Um, I'm going to launch Lightroom, as you can see. I'm working on a Mac. I'm going to launch, uh, launch, launch Adobe Lightroom. Um, shouldn't take too long. There you go. That's uh, that's loaded, up and running. Um, and this screencast is just uh, a very short one to to explain some of the navigation options within Lightroom um, and how to obviously get around. And just a quick one minute overview of each of the modules um, within Lightroom. More on the specifics of, um, of Lightroom in further screencasts. Now, when you first launch Lightroom, to be honest for me, it's been so long since I did that. I've been using Lightroom for so many years now, I can't remember what you first presented with. Um, but when you relaunch Lightroom, it actually launches in the state that it was closed down in so that you can see that um, I actually closed it down in this format. If I shut it down and reopened it, it would appear exactly as um, exactly as I uh, was using it when I closed it down. A um, couple of things to mention first off. Uh, obviously this is opened in a, in a window. I don't normally work in a, in a window type environment. I like using all the real estate I've got, if, particularly if I'm working on my, uh, my MacBook uh, display. If I'm working on a larger external monitor then it's not so bad. Uh, but there's a, a quick key press that you can use to toggle three display modes. Um, I've got an application that um, uh, allows me to reposition things on the Mac just by uh, clicking the menu bar, dragging it to the top and it should then resize it to the whole page which is what um, is nice. Um, there's also three um, three different view modes in Lightroom toggled by the F key. So this is the normal full screen with the menu bar and everything that you can see. If I press the F key once then obviously the menu bar has disappeared just leaving the title bar across the top and the system tray. If I press the F key again uh, that disappears and when I put the mouse over the top of the screen it reappears. If I press the F key once more it takes me back to the first uh, window view. I tend to work in full screen mode um, for maximum real estate. Um, uh, a couple of little tips as well to explain a few things on the screen. Um, this Lightroom is made up of, of four different areas. You have a top menu bar, a left hand panel, um, a bottom film strip, a right hand panel and the central area for working on your images. This is pretty much the same in any of the modules that you're in within Lightroom. Lightroom is made up of five modules the library module which is the one you presented with here um, which is really all about um, storing giving file names giving um, uh, tags and keywords and amending the metadata associated with your images and you have the develop module um, which actually presents a different view I've actually got the left hand pane minimized so if I oops I turn that back on um, then you have the slideshow area once it switches to slideshow, if it's going to do it again, you've got the same number of areas with different options either side, depending on the module, the print area where you can define different types of templates um, and the um, the attributes associated with those templates, and then you have a web module which allows you to build um, some web pages and up those, upload those by FTP to your choice of um, website and server. Notice at the bottom is the one that's remained consistent. It's just your film strip based on the items that you currently see in your view. Um, just a few items. I'll demonstrate these in the library module. Again, for maximum real estate, you'll notice that adjacent to each of the menus, there's a little left or an arrow. Um, I'm moving the mouse across the screen. I don't tend to use this bar across the bottom, well, not very often, so I'll tend to close that but however if you put the mouse over the screen it reappears over the bottom of the screen that one reappears take it away and it disappears again this top menu I tend to use shortcut keys to take me to each of these modules so I tend to turn that off giving me a bit more real estate at the top and then depending upon what um, mode I'm in what module I'm in I tend to have a different set of either the side panel on or off um, uh, depending upon what I'm doing you can turn this one off on the left hand side here, you can turn this one off in the right. I believe in the library module if you turn this panel, the navigation panel on the left hand side 
off it doesn't reappear when you put your mouse over to the left hand side as you can see here so I'll turn it back on again however in all other modules that does um, come back over on the right hand side here if I minimize the right hand panel if I put the mouse to the right you can see that the panel reappears over the top of um, the image panel that you've got in the middle of the view here so I'll turn that back on I tend to use this right hand panel a fair bit I won't go into the functions of this particular library module uh, but that just gives you a quick overview um, of uh, how to get around uh, the screen in Lightroom. I'm going to talk a little bit more about over to the top the library and develop modules in particular and I may include some screencasts as well on the slideshow print and web modules. So that's just the first screencast to show you how to get around, how to turn a few panels off, no explanation about all the functionality that's to come in a, in a further episode of uh, these Lightroom screencasts. So there's your introduction. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Look out for number two coming up very soon. Ciao.